Hello and welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. We continue on day 9 doing uh, drums and percussion. And we are also continuing with Elliot Williams' uh, wonderful series Logic Noise. Uh, which uh, today we're going to make this little thing here. Uh, so this is prototyped. Um, and what this is, is the X or cowbell, uh, which is actually part of many old drum machines. The 808 has something similar to this for its cowbell. Um, I'm not saying we're going to make a cowbell sound, but that's the how the... Um, yeah. It's cool uh, percussive sounds, even though they're not... Uh, cowbell maybe and what this is and this is interesting because this whole first circuit here this whiteboard is actually a hex oscillator the same that we've we made in the first episode on day one uh, all the um, ones have are tuned to the same frequency about so the same caps and the same pots uh, and then it goes into a XOR chip and the XOR, so that's we discussed that uh, a bit in the quad logic gates uh, module. Uh, it's exclusively one or the other, and that makes gives the sound a very metallic sound. Uh, so just by taking these six oscillators and met mixing them together with an XOR, this black one, we uh, get really interesting sounds. And then the thing I just destroyed here, this is a very simple uh, v uh, not VCA, uh, gate uh, circuit only work that only works with uh, square wave forms. So it's all discussed in uh, Elliot Williams' uh, article. So uh, we're gonna do this. I'm not. We're gonna do a similar one. I can't really say that you need all six oscillators to make one sound. Just mixing a few of them, three say, uh, gives a really cool sound as well. So we're gonna look at how we can do that and make a module with at least two sounds in it. Uh, so I'd like to say thank you to my patrons who make uh, these kinds of videos and this content possible by supporting me over on Patreon where you can do that too uh, and if you don't want to do that you can still go over there because there are still a few bits of pieces that are free over there as well. And with that said, let's look at the article on Hackaday and let's solder something together. The Logic Noise series is a really good uh, starting point for lots of these modules. So this is another one of uh, Elliot Williams' uh, articles in that series. Uh, so we're going to make metallic sounds with the XOR, uh, which is the 4070. Uh, we have four XORs in this one. And yeah, you make, you have two oscillators and you mix them with the XOR. So it becomes a frequency modulation. Uh, and then he makes a special kind of VCA that only works with uh, uh, digital signals or, or square waves because yeah you can read all this it's a long discussion on, on how that works and here he talks a bit about how others have used kind of this circuitry so he talks about the 808 and there's also another one. I'll show that in a minute. 
he also we also need to uh, buffer the output of this and this is a really simple uh, transistor buffer so the circuit he wants to make or he makes is this that you have six oscillators by 4106 so this is technically the oscillator bank that we did in the first episode so six of those and then two of those are XORed and then those two are XOR together with a third one. And then the same down here. Those two are XOR into that one. And that one is XOR together with those two there. And then that's the output. So he talks about the 808. But looking at the 808. So what this does is with or without the XOR. So in, in, in the... The 808 doesn't use the XOR, it just uses six differently tuned os oscillators uh, with a 4106 uh, to create a kind of white noise. S so it's spread, so it sounds like a white noise, and they use that for, the, uh, for a lot of things, but cowbell is among other things and the symbol is another. There is the this module, the Synball, which he also links to in the series, I think. Uh, here we also have the six oscillators, the 4106, and this is that exact circuit. So XORing two together with a third and those and just mixing those two signals. So if we build this up uh, and we can listen to how this sounds, first of all. So what we got here now plugged in is the just a hex oscillator like the one we did in the first episode, but they all have the same cap and the same potentiometer, so they're in the same range. And they're all connected according to his schematics into the XOR. And if we turn some knobs, we get this effect. When I was a kid and I wanted to have some cool sounds, I used to sit on the AM band on my radio and just sit and turn the tuning pot and this was the kind of sounds that you could get out of that so uh, just like this I feel it's a really interesting module uh, I just want to so instead of using all six what if we take away three of them I don't know which tree it is though. But technically what we've done, we've taken away uh, three of the uh, of the oscillators, so we only have three now. And it still sounds kind of the same, maybe not as rich in, uh, in tones. So two things. Uh, I understand that you can use just these as a white noise. Uh, we have to delve deeper into that, maybe. Um, but uh, let's let's see the difference. Let's connect these again. So let's add the um, VCA circuit that he also did. We lost a lot of volume there, don't know why. But now we have like making hi-hats and stuff like that.
Again, let's take away three of the oscillators. So I actually figured out I can show you how this, how the XOR works, how we get the metallic sound. Uh, so if we have two square inputs into our XOR in the QuadLogic uh, gate module, we see that it's the output is only on when it's exclusively one or the other. And as you can hear in the background, we get kind of a random sound. It's not random, it's actually just like that, but when we add more of them together uh, we get a random sound that sounds very metallic. So if we speed these up... We quite quickly here, it's, this is a bit PWM kind of sound. Uh, and if we change, so we actually have the, uh, the oscillator bank. Which we can speed up. X or these, oh, X or these together. So now we have this uh, same uh, glitchy metallic uh, random effect. So anyway, um, just to show you, it was easier to show in the low. So this this is why it becomes so. Uh, randomly and white noisy kind of digital noise simply uh, put uh, very very nice sound so I'd just like to step in here and say this is usually where I do show the soldering process you see a small bit up here uh, but uh, so soldering this I did this actually in two passes. So I started with one side and just made sure that that worked as it should. And then I did the other side. And I will of course link to the uh, full schematics of this in the description uh, where with all the things that I did and all the changes I did. Um, so yes. That is it. Uh, now let's continue and listen to this module instead.
Okay, so here's the final product. Uh, I skipped a few things that I thought I needed. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I thought of output buffers, but um, I've removed them for now because they didn't work as I expected. Uh, so I've done two drum sounds and all the uh, parts that I saved in the previous uh, module. I'm using double up now, so this module uses eight potentiometers right now. So three for uh, each sound timbre uh, on each side, so six for the timbers and two decay pots and then two uh, gate inputs and two outputs. And, uh, and also a switch, and the switch is for it's either two sounds with two gates and two outputs or all the six oscillators are in going into uh, the one sound, so I can use it as one sound. There is a panel on the way, and it looks like this. I uh, had to make it a bit wider to accommodate the button in the middle. And uh, hopefully that will uh, work out. Um, so yeah. Now we have cowbell and other metallic sounds. And with that, so except for the panel, we have one more uh, drum percussion module. And I must say, I, this is one of the coolest sounding modules so far that I've built, uh, just contained in itself. Really, you can make really nice percussive sounds with it. And just sitting fiddling the knobs without the VCA in the middle. It also was very fun. So it really opens up. It would be fun to do a 808 noise module just to have the noise, uh, or do the 4106. Those make this CV controllable. So you have six CV inputs for all the uh, oscillators, uh, which would really do weird sounds, I think. And it doesn't need to be precision uh, CV, it could just be um, Vectrols, I guess. So that might be a path to uh, experiment more in. Uh, so I hope you like this, uh, hope you like the sound of this and that you maybe build one. Uh, and we're gonna continue making drum modules because that is there's a lot of cool ones out there let's see if we can beat that this one with another one so hit the like button subscribe and the bell button and all that youtube things and i'll see you in the next video take care bye
Thank <laughs> you.